Look, joining us right now is my friend Frank Jordan of the NSC company. Uh, Frank has a lot of credentials, a lot of degrees, etc. And you notice what I do on Know the Cause is bring you physicians who talk about Ebola. Right now that's uh, something you want to hear about, so we're going to talk about it. Uh, Frank has been my immune go-to guy for, what, 15, 20, 25 years. And I think his words will settle you. I wanted to do three tiers with Frank, which after this short segment, you can click on the next segment, and after that, the next segment. The first tier that I haven't heard from the doctors I've interviewed who have tried to uh, allay your fears and concerns is what exactly is this virus we call Ebola? Frank, thank you for joining us. It's great to be here, Doug. The Ebola virus is actually classified as Ebola HF or hemorrhagic virus, which means it's a, a blood uh, virus. And what we are talking, why is it so much worse than the other viruses that we get? Uh, the reason is that the Ebola virus, when transmitted, goes into the epithelial cells. Now, you think of epidermis with the skin, that's the skin, but it's also in the mucus, the gastrointestinal tract, the respiratory tract, and what it does is disable the macrophages and dendritic immune cells from their ability to make antibodies by notifying the B cells, which is where the antibodies come from, which is what in turn within the body attacks and hopefully kills the virus. Now, if those are disabled, why is it, uh, obviously, you don't have the immune response. But the second part that's equally bad is that it does not disable the inflammation process, which then travels throughout the blood vessels. It's a vasodilator, the, the virus is, which means it enlarges them, it weakens them, and it goes throughout the body. Now, when it goes throughout the body and the tissue, it weakens those and it will create a hemorrhaging of blood because it prevents blood clotting. And when it does that, then you get a hemorrhaging both internal and external of the blood. Now, if that external hemorrhaging comes through a vomiting or projectile uh, going out into, actually it goes into there, has to go travel to the mm -hmm. next place, mm -hmm. and it lands on a human being in that place, then you have contact and you have a potential uh, contracting of the Ebola virus. That's why the healthcare workers are so dangerous. Now, there's also diarrhea, there's mm -hmm. sweating, they get to say body fluids. Mm -hmm. There's a very prominent organization, the Center for Infectious Disease Research and Policy at the University of Minnesota. They've been here since 2001. I haven't heard anybody say this, but they have notified the CDC and the NIH, all the appropriate agencies, and who? The World Health Organization that this, in their opinion, can be uh, given by aerosol transmission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frank, thank airborne. you. Thank you, I'm hearing that. I don't think those two nurses here in Dallas just happened on to, you know, cleaning his vomit or something uh, with no gloves on their hands. I'm beginning to become concerned, and I have no data to support this, but I'm beginning to become concerned that it might be airborne, and let me tell you what I know about that. These endothelial cells that become widened in the capillaries, then stretch out, they begin to bleed, et cetera. By the way, uh, this is a vasodilating virus. Folks, you just need to know this, and Frank knows where I'm coming from before we say goodbye on this segment. Um, mycotoxins also impact the endothelial cells and widen them. Many nosebleeds are due to living in a moldy apartment. So I know, I know this is a virus, and thank you, Frank, for letting me say that. I got to tell you, when, as we continue on this segment with Frank and on the next segments, we're gonna learn what I'm doing to protect me and my family, but I wanna know what the Jordans are doing. This guy's background in immunology transcends most immunologists. Uh, Frank, thank you for this segment, and we'll uh, click on to another one in just a moment. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. Mm -hmm.